Hello, good afternoon everyone. So it is only two days since I filmed my unboxing video for the July book from Books That Matter and as I said in the video my TBR is huge. I have got lots to read right now um, but I'm gonna give this a start because why not? It sounds amazing so I think I'm just gonna get stuck in and read it. Okay, um, I will get on with this and let you know how I'm getting on. So I am just under 50 pages in, just thought I'd let you know how it's going so far. Um, really good start to the book, so I was kind of like confused for the first few pages, thought, hmm, is this going to be as good as I think it is? Where's this going? But actually, it's really set the scene really nicely. Um, so, not a spoiler because it's in the uh, the blurb. Uh, the storm comes in like a finger snap. Um, so it very kind of quickly talks about the storm, gives you kind of just the basics of what you need to know about life before that, and then what happens. Um, and then the first few chapters have really been focused on the months after how the women are learning to cope and how they're getting on with their lives. Um, yeah, and I'm really enjoying it. So um, again, in the blurb, so it's not a spoiler, um, the men who all pass away are um, fishermen. Yeah, so they all go and fish. Um, so I've just got to the chapter where some of the women go out to fish for the first time and it's the first chapter where I've really gone, wow, this is really good. Um, really enjoyed that chapter. So I will carry on reading and let you know how it goes. Uh, hi everyone, just thought I would check in on reading. So um, it's a bit of a weird day actually, I'm actually off sick, um, which feels weird that I'm doing this instead, but Every time I like go to get up and stand up off the sofa, um, I realise why I'm off sick because I've just got like no energy to do anything, never mind like my job. So I'm like, um, only things I can do today is anything that requires sitting down. <laughs> so I've done loads of admin and stuff on my phone. Um, but it's also been a really good day um, for reading. It's one of the one things I can do. So I kind of um, finished the first section of the book. Um, so I've talked to you a little bit about um, Vardo and the women who were left there and how they'd started fishing and kind of getting on with life. Um, and then you kind of move to the second kind of part of the introduction where you've got Absalom and his new wife Ursa. So you kind of get their background from her perspective, um, which has kind of like completely changed it because it's a completely different side of the story. Um, and I think now we're getting ready for, well, it's titled The Arrival, uh, the part where both parts of the story are going to come together and Ursa and Absalom are going to end up in Vardo. Um, and then from there, I guess we don't really know what happens. Like, we know that this is set in kind of the witch trials time in the 1600s. Um, so you can kind of see what might happen, but... Other than that, it's um, it's a bit of a mystery at the moment. It's just complete kind of scene setting. Um, yeah, so enjoying this. 100 pages in, it's so about one third of the way through. Um, and I think I'm, I'm gonna just, um, I'm making a cup of tea right now. So I'm gonna get my tea and carry on reading. Um, but I've got one other thing to share whilst I'm here. I just got an email from Books That Matter UK. And I was just scrolling down. And then there was me on the email. Um, so Books That Matter shared my my first video, which I literally made like four days ago. Um, yeah, and they shared it on their email. And like for my first video, I was hoping for 20 views. I was like, if I can get 20 views, that'll be amazing. And at the moment it's on 25. So I'm like really happy that I've exceeded my expectations. Um, but just mad that it was shared on their email and people are going to watch it. And I know that's the whole point is to put this out into the world and kind of put my views out there. Um, yeah, it's just strange. It's kind of got me excited, 
but also nervous. We will see what happens. We will see what happens. Anyway, I'm gonna um, finish my tea. It should have brewed by now. Um, and go and carry on reading. So, a couple of things to update you on. My first video is now on 44 views. I still can't believe that. Books That Matter shared it on their email and people are actually watching it. Oh my gosh. Um, in other news, oh, because I'm not feeling like too good, I just can't be bothered with cooking. I don't know if anybody else is like this, so I've just ordered takeaway, I've ordered curry, and now I'm going to sit and wait for that to arrive. And whilst I'm waiting, I'm going to read a little bit more. So, um, not much to say really, because I'm now like a good two thirds of the way through. Um, it'd spoil, I can't, I can't do spoilers. So, um, all I want to say is that I'm enjoying it. Like, I do not want to put this book down. And that is the best kind of book when you don't want to do anything else. You don't want to pick up your phone. You don't want to clean your house. You don't want to go on Facebook or Instagram or anything else. All you want to do is read your book. And that's all I want to do now. So, um, food is estimated to be here in about 45 minutes, an hour. So I'm going to get some more reading done. Hi everyone. Um, so I am in work clothes. I've been to work today. Uh, but my news is to say that I finished. I finished the book. Um, obviously I don't want to give any spoilers. Um, so I won't tell you what happens in the end. I will tell you that I read the last chapter four times. That seems excessive, but it's not that long of a chapter. It's like four pages long or something, so it's quite short. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Um, so I've been thinking about what to rate it on Goodreads. And I find Goodreads difficult because you can't give half stars, so it's like, it's not quite a five star, but it is so much better than a four star. I wish you could give like half a star. If I could give half a star, it'd be four and a half stars out of five, um, easily. Why wouldn't I give it five? Because as much as I have really enjoyed reading this and as easy as it was to read and gripping, I won't read it again. I think if I want to give a book five stars, it's got to be like that good. I could just pick it up again and read it or not necessarily want to read it again, but it's got to be like brilliant. And it was so close to brilliant. Um, so yeah, definitely... Um, about four and a half stars. I think on Goodreads I will give it a five, just because the writing was amazing, the book was really good, and I just think it's that bit closer to five than four, but not like up there with some of my other fives like Addie LaRue. Um, I could easily just read that again right now. Like, that's definitely like my favorite book of the year so far. Um, and this just isn't quite Addie LaRue, um, but it is good, really good. So I recommend that you go and read uh, if you've not done so already. And yeah, I just look forward to seeing the next month's Books That Matter box. I will look forward to it. Uh, in other news, um, I also used the soap bar that came with the, the book box and I really liked that. It was really nice. I've not used the nail varnish yet though. Um, yeah, so really enjoyed my first Books That Matter book box, really enjoyed the book, and would recommend that you go join too. I will see you next time. Bye! Oh, I forgot to say, if you haven't done so already, do the normal like uh, the video, give it a big thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it, you do you. Um, leave me a comment. That'd be really lovely and, and think about subscribing. Um, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching to this point and I will see you again. Bye.